It's Christina from Creations with Christina, and today we are working on Wild Card Series number 26. And um, the first card we're going to work on is on page 62 of your Wild Card Manual, and it's the present card. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what I did was I cut out the um, envelope in the blackout feature, and you just want to go ahead and fold all of your score lines. And then we're going to add our envelope liner. just to the center, right to the center of our envelope. And then we'll fold our score line here. And then we're going to go ahead and seal up our envelope. And I'm just using some um, mono adhesive. So there we go, that's our envelope. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and put our card together. Okay, I just cut the card in a basic white card stock and I use the um, icon feature for the bottom half of our present. And then I also use the icon feature for the bow. Okay, and then you can also cut out um, the phrases, um, there's a tag you can cut out, there's also little curly cues that you can cut out for your, um, the ribbon on your bow. Um, so that's really the basics of this card. And there's our envelope. Okay, let's go ahead and start on our next card. Okay, and the next card we're going to work on is the um, cake card, which is located on page 63 of the wild card manual. Everything for this card is cut out at five and a quarter. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with our envelope. Um, this is uh, cut on using some, um, I think this is some basil card stock. So we're just going to go ahead, we're going to add our liner. I've been putting the adhesive on my liner before I start, um, just to save some time in the video. I can get more, more basic steps for these cards if I do that. So, and we're going to go ahead and add our, or close up our envelope here. down the top of our envelope and I didn't do a too good of a job lining, lining that up so let's just try that again. Okay, there we go. And now for our card, um, there's really not too much exciting stuff to do with this card. You can cut out a couple of, um, you can cut out some frames and phrases and um, the liner which that would be um, these little tiny uh, flowers that it cut out and you could just use these to line your cake. You can also cut out um, in the icon there's like there's a little wedding car and a little bride and groom so you can cut those out as well. But I'm just really just showing you the basics here so you can ink the edges of this just to give it some detail so. But it looks very cute nice and simple so there you go that's our cake, our, um, cake card. Okay, the next card we're going to work on is the safety pin card, which is located on page 64. Um, everything for this one is cut out at 5 inches, so let's go ahead and start with our envelope, and we're going to work on our um, score lines here. This is a pretty long envelope, so um, we're just going to go ahead and line this up. Oop, did not do a good job at lining. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and here our envelope closed. Our bottom flap. 
and then create our scroll line here again at the top. Okay, so that's our envelope. This is a pretty thin, thin card. Okay, so for our card, what I did was I cut it out in the regular feature. Um, you could also cut this out in the blackout feature as well, but I just uh, just cut it out nice and simple. Um, I used a pattern paper for this one so that the pattern would stick through um, the middle part here. And I'm just going to go ahead and add my liner for the top of this. You can um, There's cute little ducks you can cut out. There's some phrases. Um, so really simple, cute, simple card. So that is our safety pin card. Okay, the last card we're going to work on today is the Band-Aid card, which is on page 65. So we're going to go ahead and fold all of our score lines. And this is cut at six and a half inches. It's another long, thin card. This one, I, I didn't know really what I was going to do with it, but I actually I think it came up with something pretty cute. So, um, again, just keeping it basic. I'm just going to put some pattern paper in here, and this is just some pattern paper from a and Company um, kids pack that I have. So we're just going to go ahead and create that score line again there for the flap. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere our envelope closed. So there we go. That's our envelope. And I love, I really love the colors on this one. And then the last part we're going to do, of course, is our card. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and fold our score lines. And I cut this out in the blackout feature, but I would probably recommend that you cut it out in the regular feature for this so you know where to add your liner, which is the center of your um, card here. But I'm just going to eyeball this and just put it right in the center of the card. And then you can cut out the, um, there's a couple of phrases in here, um, there's a little RX sign in frames and stuff like that. So. There you go. That's the Band-Aid card. Keeping that one really simple, but I like how it came out because it could be perfect for a boy or something. So that's our Band-Aid card. Safety pin card. Our cake card. And then our present card. So thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina, and I'll see you next time. Bye!